Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, following on from the police seizure video, um, I've now got the paperwork ready to make a, a claim against uh, the police for the cost of recovering the car. Um, because obviously, they, in my opinion, they unlawfully seized that vehicle. So, I've got a claim for the £427, I think it was, for, to recover the car back to get it released and and then damages as I say this car somebody was buying this car the day after this happened on a Friday somebody was buying the car on um, Saturday obviously we didn't get the car back till Monday that's another issue we didn't give us any paperwork um, so here we have here we have a few letters We've got. I won't, give, I won't put the addresses on. There's three in total. So we've we've got um, the claim letter. We've got a letter to report the officer, and then we have another letter which is to request the CCTV footage. So we're going to get this sent off now. So I thought we'll take you along with me just for a, well, something to do. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get on with it anyway. Okay guys, so, let's get these letters posted. So just, uh, just to let you know what the, what the, what, what you do in a situation like this, if, um, you know, you, if, if you've had an issue like this with police and you know that they were wrong. So what you need to do is find out the address for the head of legal for that police, um, unit. In this case, it's West Yorkshire Police. And you need to sort of send a, write them a letter explaining what happened, why it was unlawful, and, and itemise any costs that you have uh, resulting from it. Um, this might include any damages of, you know, stress or anything that, that you know that resulted from it or your time or you might have had or that might have seized a vehicle for example so you had loss of enjoyment of that vehicle um, you know any cost for getting the vehicle back out of storage or wherever it's gone those kind of costs so what you, what you want to do with in this letter is you want to give them 14 days pre-court notice what this means then is if you have a if you know you've got a strong case um, you're giving them 14 days basically to pay that amount of money and if they don't pay that uh, that means that you can get straight on with issuing court proceedings in the UK before you can issue court proceedings you have to give the defendants 14 days notice um, so once you've um, once you've done that you can go straight to issuing court proceedings which at the minute I believe only cost I think it's around seventy pounds. But once I do if, if it gets to that point and I have to issue court proceedings, I'll go through that formality. But I thought, well let's let's see what happens with these letters and see if we get a response. Well I'm sure we will get a response, but we'll just see what the response is. Uh, we'll catch you in five minutes. Hi guys, uh, it's a bit later on. Um, I'm back home now. Um as you saw I just called to the post office. Um I had to pay one of one of the letters was uh, to get a copy of the the officers had uh, on board cameras. So to get a copy of that, you have to f make a subject access request, um, which for the for West Yorkshire Police they charge you ten pound. So I had to send a check off for ten pound um, to get that to get the camera footage because the camera footage is my my evidence basically against them. So I sent the check, posted them letters, posted the subject tax request, access request, posted the because I mean if it, if it goes to court I will need that footage. Posted that, posted the complaint to the IOPC about the officer, uh, about his behaviour, and also sent the claim, pre court claim form in. Um, so we'll just wait to wait to hear wait to hear back from him. Um, as I say, they've got 14 days to basically pay. Um, and after the, after 14 days, I will, on the 15th day, if I haven't had, um, a payment 
or if they've sort of, or if they've stated that they're not paying it or they've offered a lesser amount or whatever, I will I can then issue cop proceedings immediately, which you can do online. As I say, it costs about seventy pound. So if it comes to that stage, I'll go through all that process with the with you. I know it's not car related, but it's all to do with them seizing my car and this 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 will happen to other motorists so any of you guys out there may have had this happen to them where the police have unlawfully taken your, your vehicle and they shouldn't be allowed to get away with it you know they, they just shouldn't so we'll see how that goes some other news we got back today i got a message from the garage that's doing the gearbox on the m3 on the united to m3 um, I've got a message. the The gearbox is all fitted in now. The cars, the cars, basically done. They're just waiting for it to be coded. The, they must have a guy that comes out and does the the coding for them. So, which I, I didn't, I didn't wasn't sure if the a gearbox needed to be coded, but on on the E ninety two M threes, the gearbox need must need coding. So, I would think that we might we should get the M three back this week. Um, so if we got if we do, I'll do a video on it some some point this week and just to see where we're at um it's got some few bits that need finishing off on it um paintwork i think it wants paintwork correction but it might actually need sort of some paintwork on it some actual paint um applying to it but we'll see if we can correct it but there's some other little bits but when it comes i'll do a video because it's been ages it's it's about they've had the car nearly three months so it's been absolute ages i forget what needs finishing off on it uh, but we'll do another video on that. I just want to touch base with this, with this, with the police, and just keep keep people informed. Um, if you've got any questions about, um, if you've had a similar issue with the police, if if you've got any questions, if I can answer them, if I can help, drop them below, and I'll uh, I'll reply. But anyway, catch you one day this week with another video, hopefully on the M three, um, and the next video that you'll see regarding this uh, this please claim will either be them paying or me taking them to court so it's going to be interesting either way so catch up next one guys